we may or may not <clears throat> have turned down 24 and a half million for UEs. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Welcome in. He didn't want to go. I just want to get that out there right now. He did not want to go. He had no interest. Like, it wasn't like he was like, he could be persuaded. It was like, no, no, no. I don't want to go. Loyal. Loyal to the badge. Luis. Um, look at that. 18.75. Um, but it could rise up to 24 and a half. And we said no. It was at, like, this is the annoying thing. It was after our transfer window closed. So we had clubs coming in for Augustinson and for Uis, And it was like, if I said yes, we have no option. We can't go buy somebody. So we didn't. I'm curious what your thoughts are on that. I just, I was really glad he didn't want to go. I'll put it that way. Um, we're taking on PSV Eindhoven today. It says that they're playing a park the bus, which seems odd. So we're going to try and 4-3-2-1 it to break them down. I might... You know, we've got um, Kishna on the bench. We might go 4-2-3-1 wide if we need to, but we've played pretty well using this formation. We got everybody back from international break. I want to say Syria beat somebody 7-1. 7-0 Kyr uh, Kyrgyzstan. And then 4-0 Afghanistan. Yeah, he played an 8.0, Al Louise did. Good on him. Um, I just thought that was kind of, I was like, 7 nil. Woo! Um, the only change we've, is we put Shaq in here, but on a defend. Um, because he's he's definitely more of a defensive player, is kind of my thinking there. So he's got the, the tackle. I mean, it's decent tackling. He's less of that, like, 16 passing and all that kind of stuff. So it's almost, I'm tempted to play like a, like, just go win the ball back. But we like having the, the playmaker option, essentially, in uh, the vertical tiki-taka style. It, it wants us to play very defensive. But every time, that's what our our assistant manager says. I'm, I'm kind of befuddled. All right, here we go. Their form, 3-0-2. Oh, okay. And then our form, 2-1-1. One, and one. Not that different. Let's be honest. Rottier getting the start today. This is a this is a six pointer for eighth place team, eighth and ninth. But their goal differential, you know, again, early on when you concede five and only score one, that's going to really impact your goal differential. We got we got to start claw, you know, crawling out of that hole a bit. Let's score three here today and win three nil, and then it'll be you know it'll be positive. Yeah, that's the dream. Hope you're doing well. This is so cool. Um, we've created a little itty bitty chance, 0.23, but, uh, nothing to show for it. Here we go. Away! Oh, that's not away. Oh, good block there by Uis. That's, that's 24 and a half million of value right there. Saving that goal. Carranza. Okay, close down. Hans gets to Aloise. Aloise has got two around him, but he runs past one. Gets a little bit of space, chips it over. We've seen a lot of that early on in the season. A little chipped ball and Carranza heads at home. Of course, they their one chance there took it to a point four, so they're they're performing quite well. Let's do an encourage, I guess, because the odds aren't favoring us. But uh, okay, all right, all right. Little lots of action here on the wing. We could have used a couple more players, I think, to help out defensively. But whatever. How did he get that past him? All right, Carranza. Carranza and all his mo j merry men. I went jolly in my head. And then it completely breaks down. August Denson plays it back. At least we didn't concede. But now they're back into park the bus mode, right? Is Apparently that's... Or is our just analysis really poor? That doesn't look like parking the bus. There's not like seven players in the box. Carranza! Oh. Mm, it, was, it was good. It was a good attempt. Good attempt. Good save. I X ahead of head of head of me. I always do this. Carranza cannot get to that. There's the incur. <laughs> Brock. 
Oh, Barack was upset at the end of the season. I forgot to mention that. Um, that's also why he starts because we had played him a lot in the deep line playmaker role. And one of the promises I'd made him is that we'd play him in the best player, but it was green for like the longest time. And then at the very end of the season, he's like, I'm upset. So I've had to re re promise that we'll play him there. And so we're going, we're, we're going to, we're going to, that's why if we have to go to four, two, three, one, he's going to play the attacking mid in the center. I'm going to say I'm happy. We, we've created more chances. We've looked better, right? The 10 shots, three on targets. Not, not a great ratio, but we have created some, some, again, not clear cut or half chances officially, but we've been in the mix ball up top all by him. Lo his lonesome. And we had three back. So that worked. Hans Shaq plays it out. Oh, Aloise in good space. He's going to take a touch and go on a run. That's what he does. Goes to the cross. Doesn't work. Panicked clearance. They only have one up top. That's a bit surprising. I'm curious if they got a new man. Or no, they must have got a new manager because they tried to interview me for it. And Hans has missed a. I don't know if it was a sitter, but it was a penalty spot. Get it in the corner, mate. But yeah, they did offer me the the interview, so that makes sense that the new manager's gone a different way. But against us, I mean, we did finish fifth last season. But did you see the Groningen game? <laughs> uh oh, here they come. The one time they get forward, or second time, and he just slots it up. And look at the look how well we're pulling. I'm gonna try and encourage because the odds makers did not favor us, but it's just this is how football goes, right? You play well, and the counterattacking team takes their one or two opportunities, and you lose. We've got to get better. Al Louise plays it back. Hans. Goes left peg because he's either footed. Oh, he was offside. That's what I have to say about that. But it's like, I don't feel like I need to change anything. Look at this. We've outshot them in every category. We've doubled them. But we have nothing to show for it. I guess we'll go attacking. And we're going to demand more. And they've hated it. Lovely, lovely. It's good. It's good. Everything's good. <sighs> we played really well. Everyone's super upset. I'm going to bring on Kishna. Do we make any other changes? We always have the option to, to, to spread it out wide, but Panya's now, you know, it hasn't told me to, to sub Panya off yet. So he's, he's not coming off. Oh, when we get a highlight, is this going to be a goal or a counter? And then a goal for us. Oh, it's almost a goal for them. Let's be weird. Slide here. Carranza is fast. You go there. Stassen is nervous. <laughs> That's good. That's fantastic. No, I don't want you to be an advanced playmaker. I want you to be a winger. Right. Does it seem like I'm throwing stuff against the wall? Because I am. Shaq is going to slide here. And then, because he's on... No, he's focused. And he's having a good game. I think... I mean, I don't know why I just spent... It, it, there's three minutes left, so... Oh, and also, we'll go very attacking. It's probably going to result in either a goal for them or no highlights. So I'm expecting a goal for them here. Shaq Hans at the top of the box. Oh my goodness. I mean, it was a good attempt that probably would have hit the post is what it looked like. I mean, I guess we'll bring on. Let's give Dante six seconds of game time to say we did. Oh, that's so frustrating. We played well. I, I can't be upset with them. We play. Look at that. 20 shots to seven. 
two XG. You'd think you could score one, and they had a point six six. And the match stats. Now, to be fair, they had a clear cut chance. Their clear cut chance was a point six six. All of our chances that added up to two point oh didn't amount to anything. Um, I'm gonna say, despite the result, I'm pleased. I I rarely get to use that, so I'm gonna use it here because I think it's fair. It's like, hey, that's just kind of how it goes. That's what happens when you don't take your chances. Um, I I had other options, mate. That drops us to ninth. Here we go again, struggling at the beginning of the season. Hello. This is not good. We've attracted takeover interest from consortiums backed by Yusuf Balut and Konstantin Komen, as well as further rival group fronted by Jonathan Shannon, who kicked off proceedings by declaring they will name Philip Koku as their new manager should they prove successful in their efforts to take control of the club. The former PSV manager. Shannon headed the appointment to the Dutch football post on what Cynics will claim in an early attempt to get the supporters on his side, knowing they are watching the situation develop with great interest. The board have placed an embargo upon transfers. Oh, I'm about to get so mad, I think. Evan Rottier has just given us the lead after we conceded into the fourth minute. It's now the 13th minute. Watch this. Takes a run. Up oh, Goes around the keeper. Slots it home. All right, let's do the draw. That's not what I was expecting to have happen. Draw all the teams. We're taking on the mighty ASWH from the TV Divisi, the division below the division below us. Or no. Yes. Yes, because they've been there. Yeah, good stuff. We beat Willem Tway 3-1, which was nice. It catapults us to 7th. A win today against Ajax, which is super definitely going to happen, could catapult us one spot up to 6th. Or we could potentially drop as low as... 11th if all the other teams below us win or something like that i thought about doing the 4-2-3-1 but that's putting more attacking players than it is defensive players or like midfielders and so i i voted against that uh let me get us going here I'll, i want to talk to you a little bit about the plan uh for this season from a recording standpoint all right here we go let me get the sound going they're unbeaten in their last five they're playing a 4-4-2 diamond, which is another reason I thought, because I looked at their, their oh, we're not doing attacking, no, 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 let's do balanced, um, that we might try, you know, spreading them out, but let's see what happens. Um, so going back to what's the plan for this season. So I've got to learn that there's this European playoff thing. So if we're in the mix, if we're whatever it is, seventh or eighth or higher, but not in a guaranteed Europa League or Champions League spot, which would be first through third, then I'm not going to do what I did last season and play like two key episodes to see where we end up. I'm going to get us to where we – like I wouldn't not do the final game of the, of the regular season um, after like the Dutch Cup final, but I also don't want to spend – I, I forgot, honestly, about the playoff, and it caught me by surprise from a recording standpoint. So I need to fix that for us uh, this year so we don't spend, like, eight episodes in the second half of the season, if that makes sense. So I'm still going to do the Dutch Cup all the way through, even though we've we've gotten a very low-level side. Hold on, Shaq is doing things. Oh, it's poor things. Because um, I want to show off some of our younger players and the backups and all that kind of stuff. But just as a heads up, like... If the Dutch Cup final doesn't go our way, we will expedite this season because we don't have any massive, massive signings, but we will expedite getting towards the end of the season to see how things end up. Um, and they've nipped it past the goalkeeper right on the edge of halftime. I mean, really, it's like, what are you going to do? You know, um, I think we change it. I think we're going to we're gonna split them up here for the second half and see if we can do... Um, I'm not going to say I'm happy. I'm just say that wasn't good enough. And if you're not going to react, I might just rip you right out of there, huh? Trying to be positive, people, but, you know, if you're not going to play well... Okay, we're going to switch like this for right now. But then we can always <laughs> bring on Kishna. Kishna's going to get upset, I think, after this. Um... But, and, and I'm going to tell the lads to focus down the wings because they don't have anybody there. So, surely that makes sense. Nielsen! Oh, that was close. Early chance. Five minutes into the half. 
I thought this was a 5.8, not going to lie. I was like, oh, I don't know if you could see that on my face, but I definitely was like, oh, my goodness. Rottier is on a 6.4. So he does here. Barack on the 6.5. Can he find a man? He does find, he finds a man. Just one in wed and, wed and white. Wed and white. Wadney Wabbit in the wed and white. Oh, my God. Who oh, is that? Uis? Uis has scuffed his lines. Nielsen has saved him, and they've called a... Somebody on episode 30 or 31 was like, we need to bring back the penalty counter. And I thought about that, but man, that's going to be a lot of work with how many penalties are getting called these days. If somebody wants to go back and watch all the previous episodes and tell me where we're at from a penalty standpoint. What? I, I don't understand this. What, what is, what is that? What does that mean? It's time to react, people. If we're going to give up penalties, Ratier is coming off. Kishna is coming on. Who can... This is the problem with selling Becky. We don't really have a right winger now, do we? But Hans can go there. Panya can go there. And he's going to... We're going to go back to how we had it. With the, the false nine and the shadow striker and the wingers. And then the advanced playmaker on attack. But he's not going to like... We're not even going to play there if you're not going to be happy about it, buddy. We're going to bring in da Big Game Dante because he loves a big game. Occasionally. Probably should have sold him. But, you know, things, you know, happen. <laughs> so we've got actual wingers out there. I'm going to tell us to go attack it. We're, we're losing 2 0. The worst that can happen is we lose 5 1 like we did last time. Um, encourage. Any Anything? Can we get any kind of action here? Anything? Carranza's on a 6.3. That's going to earn you a sit down and bring on Lucas Stassen. Demand more. Anything? No reaction. Just This has been a meaningless part of the episode, my friends. We're going to get trounced. I mean, wait, unless we concede here. I don't know if 2 nils are trouncing. 3 nils close to a trouncing. Um, good tackle there. Interesting decision to push that back on the counterattack there, Kishna. He's like, that's what you get for not starting me. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, a way to Ajax you lose 2-0 isn't devastating, or 3. I, I, I keep talking about this as if it's not done, and now it's 3. So now that's a quasi-trouncing. Um, but you kind of expect it, don't you? So should what do you think? Should I have gone for the 4-2-3-1 and spread them out? It hasn't worked. Because all of their strength is in the spine. So was it better to leave it to where we had more people in the middle to counter the people they have in the middle? Should we have just done a full-on rotation and go, like, we're not going to beat the champions. Let's let's save our legs here. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring you into training. If you're not going to react, nobody played exceptionally well from a rating standpoint. Um, we're not going to talk about it. There's some positives we can take out from us. Okay. We are in eighth now, although Gronigan could hop us theoretically. There's some games in hand at the bottom of the table. Uh, we're going to owe them 250 grand, sure. Yep. All right, my friends, with that in mind, we're going to bring him back for the Dutch Cup first round. Vitesse is in third. What? Um, and probably Utrecht and do a back to back there um, because they're in seventh. But last season, they finished, what, third? Fourth? They finished third, so that's a bit of a surprise. I mean, I'm not too gutted about our start, especially considering last season we lost a door track. We've not done that yet, but we did lose to Gronigan, so. And losing to PSV is not that disappointing, but we got it. This is the time where we had some good points to get. FC 20 in 13th, Hadron Veen in 16th, Satard, recently re promoted, in 17th. The easiest cup game you could ask for. I've cursed us, I, under, I understand. Then seventh place currently, Utrecht. Sixth place, Emin, which you wouldn't expect to stay there. De Grashep is 18th, and surprisingly, the promoted teams are doing well. Vitesse in third. So, like, we've got a chance here, now that we've gotten through most of the tough, historically tough opponents, right? And really, we won one, we drew one, and we lost two. So we're 1-1-2 one, one, and two against the theoretical top four. Now's the time to pick up some points. That's my opinion. Hit that like button, my friends. Thanks for your support. Feeling storky. I'm feeling very storky these days. We'll see you then.